back to this DC Universe Online Let's Play. You're Sambo, and joining us this week in the Hall of Doom is Seraphis, our mighty super villain with the mighty super villain Villainous League here in the Hall of Doom once again taking over the entire space. As you can tell, we've got our mighty super villains this week. We're not on our good side. We're not on the heroes. We're not on the super zeros. This week, we're going to be running our weekly league alert on the super villains. And as you can see, they are just as mighty. Look at this. We've got a fantastic turnout here. In fact, there's some good old favorites there. There's Laugh Lass, who of course has been in one of our previous episodes. We've got Mystic Witch. We've got Meta Babe. We've got All-Knowing Destroyer up the back there who by the way I believe is Holy Crusader we've got Velocis we've got Cyberwoman Prime who else have we got here Bruce Reed we've got Cheers X Fire we've got Addicted to Muffins what a great name that is Flying Fox we've got Pruta Prut what's how do you say that Petruta I think that's how you say that one we've got Fusion Bolt we've got Geomancer and of course We've got right in the middle there, Seraphis, who's being absolutely swamped by all the supervillains here in the Hall of Doom. And there we are, Twilight Star, also not forgetting you over on the side there. You know what, I love those classic costumes, by the way. A lot of people try and be as elaborate as possible, but at the end of the day, I do love me some classic superhero or supervillain action. So here we are, folks, Hall of Doom. And of course, as always, we're going to be doing our weekly alert very, very shortly. We never know exactly which one we're going to be doing because it does depend upon the level of the guys that we get in the group, which is drawn randomly. So we're going to get to and do that draw very, very shortly. In the meantime, folks, have a good look at these guys, the super villains, the evil side of the super zeros here in the Hall of Doom in DC Universe Online. We'll be right back. And here we are, folks. We're gathered with this week's group for our Super Villains Weekly Alert Run. And we've got this time Velocis. Welcome to you, Velocis. Who you can see there on the left hand side is a level 30 controller. Welcome to this episode and welcome to our alert run this week. Looking mighty fine there. Very flash inspired character, if you ask me. And next up, we've got Flying Fox. You know what? I love costumes like this, by the way. Level 11 damage DPS tune here. It looks like a brand new tune in the super villains, green and black, and the fox ears and the villains. That is one awesome looking character there. Welcome, by the way, to this week's alert. Great to have you along. Really nice costume that you've got going on there. And then look at this, folks. We've got a familiar face. It is Laugh Lass. There we go. We'll get all the words off her. Laugh Lass, you may remember. Oh, good Lord. You may remember from one of our episodes a few weeks back. It's nice to have Laugh Lass joining us again in another weekly event episode welcome to you by the way and you know what i've never noticed up close you've got a very sparkly top on there that looks great and the flash boots as well and of course rounding out the team here is our favorite good old seraphis who's going to hopefully not mess things up for the guy so once again we've got a velocis level 30 controller we've got flying fox who is a level 11 dps and we've got good old laugh last here who is also a level 30 controller and of course that means we're we're only going to be able to run one of the instances this week. We open up our on duty menu here and we go into alerts. You can see, yes, it's Area 51. I know we've run Area 51 a few times, but of course, it doesn't matter. We're here to have fun and it doesn't matter that we've been playing this instance a few times. It's a great fun run. And of course, where we can go is always dictated by the random number generator beast. You never know who we're going to get in the team and we don't mind. Area 51 it is and we'll be queuing up for that very very shortly in the meantime congratulations to Velocis, Laugh Lass and Flying Fox it's great to have you along we'll be right back in just one sec and we're back folks here we are we are ready to rock and roll it's time for us to open up the alert menu the on duty menu go to the alert section here and by the way you might have noticed if you haven't seen DCUO for a while you may have noticed that this has changed a lot and for the better by the way now all we need to do is go to the tab for the on duty particular activity that you're after in this case of course it's an alert we tick area 51 here and all we need to do is say Q there we go and we click on this down the bottom here my status no role selected it depends on the character that you have of course as to which role you will choose in our case I'm just going to choose damage and that is it we choose select 
and then as soon as we tick ready we'll be up and running and of course you can see the status of the group over here we've got flying fox who's chosen damage we've got laugh less who has chosen a controller myself of course damage and you can see Velocis there has decided to go both controller and damage and of course the instance finder here will decide which one is better so we just tick ready and there we are because we've got ourselves a full group we are ready to rock and roll we can enter our instance now let's do just that and boy oh boy I wish us luck and here we are on the inside as we wait for our wonderful super villains team to form up there they go flying fox Velocis and a laugh less it's great to have you guys along by the way now yes again I know it's area 51 but this is the great thing about a game like DCUO every single time you run it it is completely different because of course it depends upon the makeup of the team and the players behind those characters you can run the same alert over and over and over again but it doesn't matter it's going to be a completely different experience every single time that is the beauty of MMOs and by the way it's great to to have these guys along. You know how this works folks, we have a look at the map here, here we are, Area 51, which we did run last week by the way, is busted up into about four sections, we're here at the first part, and you can see down there we've got ourselves a whole lot of enemies, the first part of which is for us to discharge Brainiac energy cells, we've got 25 of them to happen, and you can see also we've got to defeat the invading Brainiac drones, 50 of those. But first things first, as we know over here, we've got ourselves a nice vendor, always recommend that you sort of take advantage of that great to have a vendor in the actual instance itself and that means you can repair up let's do just that and of course you can also buy up some soda colas if you're getting low now it just so happens I think I'm I'm doing just fine I think we've got 12 of them here yeah there we go 12 soda cola extremes or supremes in this case and that's gonna be more than enough for us in this instance here of course you can tell we're having to run the normal mode but that's all right doesn't matter it's all part of the fun and of course we're going to have to protect flying fox because they're only a level 11 so our task is still cut out for us even though the rest of us are level 30 we still have a protection job to do so we'll just wait for everyone to repair up and grab their supplies it looks like they're about ready here we go so here it is laugh less Flying Fox and Velocis. I think it's time for us to take this area down. Area 51, defeat the Brainiac invasion. Are we ready? Yes, we are. Here we go. Let's get right into it, folks. Starting off with these Brainiac subjugators. And, of course, we're also having to discharge these Brainiac cells here. Here we go now. Of course, we're going to have to keep an eye on Flying Fox's health. And that's good because that in itself is a challenge. It means it's not going to be super easy because even though the rest of us, Velocis, Laughless, and myself, aren't going to get too damaged in here, we do have to keep an eye on Flying Fox given that they're only level 11. So it's nice. It does add to a bit of a challenge in the game. There you go, you listen to all that chatter from the enemies, and of course, it doesn't matter what level you are when it comes to doing objectives like this, we still are having to go up and use those discharge functions on the Brainiac energy cells. So it doesn't matter whether you're large or small, that still has to occur. Alright, keeping a check on everyone here, laugh less. And Velocis, their health is fine. Flying Fox, of course, is the main concern here. And you can see they're doing a great job so far as well. And look at that, we've got a helicopter there. I think Laughless has a pet helicopter. That is amazing. Self-destruction imminent. Do you know, I actually have no idea what that's from. So Laughless, if you're watching this episode, please do tell how on earth did you get that little mini helicopter? Because that is way cool. All right, we're looking at Flying Fox here. There they are pulling up the rear, making sure, of course, that they're still A-OK. -okay. There we go, a rain of fire with my arrows there. I love that ability. 
And Velocity, you can see, is using super speed, as I said earlier. Clearly a Flash-inspired character, and that's fantastic. Nothing wrong with the Flash. And as always, it reminds me of Sheldon Cooper. How about you guys? Do you know what I'm talking about there? Sheldon Cooper from The Big Bang Theory. The Flash. That was a great episode, wasn't it? All right, here we go. 21, 22, 23, 24, and the lucky last one here will be 25 out of 25. Of course, you know what that means. That is going to trigger our fight with our very first boss, Defeat Subprime Regulator Alpha. That is what we're going to have to do next. And again, our challenge there will be to make sure that Flying Fox does not get pummeled by this boss. So let's form up. Wait for the team to join. There we go. Flying Fox has a health barrel. That is great team play there, by the way. If you are running this at level, you want to try and pick up your barrels wherever you can. And there you go. You can see Laugh Less. <laughs> Let's have a good old laugh there. Laugh Less is actually wriggling her rear there at the subprime regulator alpha. All right, so let's check here. Flying Fox Velocis, who slits their throat. I don't think somehow that subprime regulator alpha is going to last very long. Let's do this thing. Let's go in and take this guy on. See if we can take him down. Now, I'm going to hold back, by the way. And we'll see if we can let the other guys do the hard work here. And especially Flying Fox, of course. Who is doing this at level? And you can see they're already taking a pummeling, as is a subprime regulator alpha. If we hold back a little bit here, try and make it last a little bit longer, but I doubt it very much. And there we go. To be any help at all, we need to get them up and fighting and reclaim their ammunition supply point. Don't forget to strip the Brainiac Force's neural cores after you defeat them. This will prevent their prime servitor from sending in further reinforcements. There we go, you heard the lady now, of course, not forgetting, yes, we ran this last week, but don't forget we ran it as the heroes, as the superheroes, super zeros. This week we are the nasty villains, so of course it is going to be just that little bit different, so there you go. And again, laugh less, where on earth did you get that helicopter from? That is so cool. Now, here we go, networked nanobot carapace, as you can tell, it's way too low for me, so I'm going to... Hopefully, yeah, there you go, Flying Fox got that. Congratulations to Flying Fox. Hopefully it's going to be a good gear run for them, by the way, uh, picking up all of this gear because, of course, the rest of us are level 30. All right, so let's have a look on our map now and see where we need to go. You can see we need to head eastwards over there to the center of the alert. Love the alerts here in DCUO. And we've got ourselves a bunch of new objectives. Number one is that we have to extract fallen Cadmus agents. And you can see there that is 10 of them. There we go. And look at that in the chat, by the way, they're saying, for some reason, I was thinking the Martian Manhunter would speak. You know what? That is what would happen if we were running this on the villains, but uh, rather on the heroes, but we're running it on the villains this week. You can see we also have to assist Cadmus agents with their munitions. You'll know how this works, folks. Six of those that we have to protect while the countdown counts down. There's a timer on those, and there'll be waves of enemy spawns come in, try and taking them down. We need to protect them, and of course, finally, defeat the drones and recover their encryption cores 50 of those that we have to grab so let's do this i think we're ready to roll off we go here we go we just follow the yellow pip of course as always on the mini map if you're ever lost that's exactly where you need to go now i think it's this compound over here let's zoom down the front and we'll just wait for the rest of our team. Here we are at the Area 51 ammo dump. And look at that. Laugh Lass has shapeshifted there as well. Oh, look, she blends right in here in the Brainiac Area 51 facility. There we go. All right, so it looks like somebody has already taken on. There we go. Velocis has decided to take on the group. That's okay. Let's see if we can rescue these agents here. Extract the fallen Cadmus agents. And this is very difficult too, by the way, folks, because you do get interrupted as you're trying to use all of these. And it's very deliberate, of course. So it pays, pays to clear the area, but of course you are on a timer as well. So it can be a very, very nasty game of tug and war. There you go, Flying Fox doing doing their job, everyone doing their job. Laugh less, dressed up as a Brainiac Spark there by the looks of things. This is great, isn't it? Really well themed there. Break for the command 
Listen to that. The Cadmus agent is saying they're making a break for the command base. I think what we'll do is we'll head in here to the Cadmus tech and we'll see if we can trigger one of these. Our very first one. There we go. Off we go. Velocis is triggering that off. This is the tech, of course, that will count down and we'll get waves of enemy spawns that come in. Now, again, these aren't going to be too much of a challenge for us. There we go. The rain of fire. The arrows get fired down from the sky. I absolutely love that ability. Let's just hold back here, folks, and let the other guys in the team do the work. I don't want to kind of just walk through this with a face roll. Let's see Flying Fox in action. We'll stand here with Laugh Lass. There they go. They're off to it. And Flying Fox is getting, getting pushed back there. All right, let's pick up this guy who has come in. There we go. Flying Fox should pick up that guy there and extract them. Of course, all counting towards the quests that we've got to do. And there's another one over there. Let's just plant some arrows down. There we go. And how do we go? That is it. That is one out of six done. Let's head over to the side here. Are there any? No. It looks like we're going to have to go over to the other room. Of course, they're basically in this room and the room opposite, in case you're wondering where they are. Although what I might do is just clear out this side area here first because these guys here will count towards our quest. Here we go, and these guys here are the extractions as opposed to being used. Alright, so you can see we're 7 out of 10 on the extractions and 34 out of 50 for the Encryption core recovery there. Cadmus reinforcements deployed to ammo supply point. And you can see even though these guys are very low level, they're still quite tough to take down some of them. Thanks. I didn't think anyone was coming for me. And good old heels going on there. Thank you very much. Great team play, by the way. And there's Flying Fox grabbing those. All right, so you can see we've got now 9 out of 10, by the way, of the Fallen Cadmus agents that are extracted. And 42 out of 50 of the data cores, the encryption cores, and that's now gone up to 44. All right, let's head in here and see if we can do another protection scheme here with the Cadmus Agent. There we go, 47 out of 50 of the encryption cores and 9 out of 10, by the way, of the extractions done. So we're doing very, very well. All right, let's see if we can take out one of these guys now, the Cadmus Tech. Set him off, this is a defense. And that will count down. And look at that. Laugh Lass has shape-shifted again. Let's have a good old laugh there. That is fantastic. Seriously, Laugh Lass, where do you get all your costumes from? That is fantastic. Loving it a lot. Now, I say we mix things up and make things tough, seeing as we've got a number of high-level folk in here. Let's see if we can trigger this one off as well. i got to transport these munitions out of here. Defend me while I get this teleporter work. Make things just a little bit more exciting. There we go, there's another one off. And in fact, go on, let's throw caution to the wind and get three of them happening. We've got Flying Fox. All their health has been taken down there. This definitely makes this a challenge. I'm sure Flying Fox is not going to like me one bit. But let's make this exciting, folks. There we go, this one is nearly finished, and I think that will make it four out of six. Doing very well indeed. Wow. There we go, four out of six. Let's go back to this other area over here where hopefully the other two have spawned. We'll just check that in a minute. There's one there, Cadmus Tech. Great. I could use your help. I gotta transport these munitions out of here. And look at this, Laugh Lass has transformed and shape-shifted yet again. 
Will you look at this? She has an absolute array of shape-shifting shenanigans going on there. You know what? I think we need to call her Regina J. Lacerta's twin. This is something that Reggie would be doing. All sorts of crazy shenanigans there. Look at that laugh lace. You will have to tell us what all of your crazy costumes were, by the way. All right, so we're waiting for some more of these guys to spawn in. Target locked. And again, this will be our fifth out of six. Let's, oh, look at that, the Brainiac Accumulator. And there we go, five out of six. Well done, well done, team. Seriously, these guys, yes, I know we're over level, but these guys do know how to play as a team. And that is the most important thing, of course, we're here to have fun. All right, so we're looking for another agent, another tech, there we go. And again, for funsies, let's see if we can trigger off two of these to make things just a little bit more exciting. Defend me while I get this teleporter working. We will absolutely do that. Let's bring on another one. Munitions out of here. Defend me while I get this teleporter working. Here we go. Once we've done these two, of course, we will be clear of this particular part of the section. There we go, you can see Velocis is saying, I found a shiny. Good stuff, you're a player after my own heart. And here we go, nearly completed as these two count down. And Laughless! Good lord, Laughless! Increasing security at ammunition supply point. Searching for source of disturbance. Will you look at that? Laughless has shape shifted once again. Let's line up out the front here, folks. By the way, we know where about subprime regulator Zeta is. They're up the top on that platform. There we go. And again, Laughless and her crazy shape shifting. That is classic. Seriously, where are you getting all of these from? Amazing. All right, so let's check in, will we? Velocis is here, Flying Fox is here, and Laughless is here in one shape, form, or another. Looks like we're ready to rock. Subprime Regulator Alpha, of course, is up the top there. I think we're as ready as we're going to be. What do you say? Let's do this thing. In we go. I'm going to pick off, pick off the trash around the outside. And we'll let the guys go to town on the main boss. There we go, getting a good view of the guys at work. You can see there's a lot of knockbacks that can carry on, by the way, throughout this fight. So again, if you're running it at level, be very careful. That's a lot of damage. Now to reset the defense systems in the Cadmus Command base. Luckily, the base's subsonic distress call is wreaking havoc with nearby Brainiac sparks. If you break them down and reset their neural cores, you'll gain a definite advantage. There we go, you heard the lady. First things first, let's grab some of these gloves. We'll pass on them. Hopefully Flying Fox will get them. There we go. All right, let's have a look at it. Oh my Lord. Laugh less. I think we're gonna call you Reggie's sister without doubt. If you guys watch our Guild Wars Let's Play, you will know all what I'm talking about there. I think we have our very own Regina J. Lacerda here in the Super Villains League with Laugh Less. All right, let's have a look at the map, folks. You can see we're going to have to head up to the north and what's in store for us up there. Let's have a look at these objectives. We have to activate the Cadmus defense consoles. There's 16 of those. Now, of course, you'll remember that they are bright red pillars of light that stream up into the sky, so it's going to be nice and easy to find them. We also have to reprogram defeated Brainiac Sparks and eliminate control tower patrols. I think we're as ready as we're going to be. Let's head on over there. You know how this works. We just follow the yellow pip on our map and look folks it is incredible isn't it what a great looking instance and by the way that over there is where our final showdown will appear in the brainiac ship there uh, picking up those krypton pieces all right there we go you can see the bright red area there streaming up into the sky that is indeed one of the control consoles the defense consoles that we have to take down all right let's just wait for the team 
All right, looks like everybody's here. Let's go to town. Let's take out one of these consoles. All you do, of course, is use E. And if you keep getting interrupted like me here, it's going to make things just a little bit more difficult. Alright, where are the guys and gals? Let's look for them. I think they're over this way. So that is the direction we shall head. There we go, we're all back together again. And this here is one of the ones that we have to use here. You can see they're reprogramming the defeated Brainiac Sparks. They actually turn into a human, I think. And that, of course, is part of our quest objectives. Signal lost. Alright, so what I generally like to do, and by the way, there's no right or wrong way of doing this, is clear out the ground floor first. And once we've done that, then head up to the top floor. And we've got ourselves a shiny over here. We're never going to miss those. There we are, that's a nice loot shiny as well. We do love those. Let's distribute that right away. And it's a collection, so we'll definitely greed on that. Different story, of course, if it's gear. We do want the lower level members to grab the gear. There's no point in me having it. Identifying target. All right, let's head upstairs, folks, as the group forms up. Again, fantastic team players that we have here. All right, so let's head deeper into the upper section here. And there goes Flying Fox again at level, taking these guys on like a champion. Alright, that takes us to 6 out of 16 of the consoles. You can see there's a number of them that we have to do. Well done, Flying Fox. Velocis, run on ahead there to take out that console. Good stuff. Now, don't forget the ones in the centre over there too, by the way. If you're running around the outside, it can be easy to, easy to forget them. There we go, 8 out of 16 of them done, 14 out of 25 of the sparks are reprogrammed, and you can see 31 out of 50 of the control tower patrols are done. There we go, laugh last yep, making the most of the available things to throw around. Let's pick up a barrel, by the way. Just in case Flying Fox gets caught with their proverbial pants down, always good to have a barrel on hand. Just throwing it into the fray there, of course that will crack the barrel and cause that healing aura to occur, which just helps top things up. There we go, laugh less. Activating that console, we are 12 out of 16. Now, of course, don't forget we've got to head into the center there as well. Signal lost. So let's do that down here. Where is everybody? There we go, there's a Brainiac Spark. Signal lost. Go, go, Flying Fox. Well done there. Again, playing at level. Not easy at all. All right, here were the ones from the center. Yeah, 
There we go, here come the rest of the team. Laugh Lass with her helicopter. <laughs> Classic stuff. Alright, you can see we've got 13 out of 16. And there we go, 14 out of 16. Now, as always, sometimes we do have to split up in order to find the remaining ones. That's okay. We've got a collectible up here, though. We'll just let the guys know. Here we go, collectible up here. Although it is a gear, I think. Yeah, there we go, gear. Good stuff. All right, we're looking for these consoles. There's one right there. You can see the red glow. Let's distribute this, and it is a, yes, it's a nice collectible, so we will absolutely take that as agreed. Control center defense sequence activated. All right, so you can see here we got to D, yeah, reprogram the defeated Brainiac Sparks. We've got two of them to go, and we've still got one console to find as well. Always a bit of a challenge. All right, where is that one console? This is one of the few times where we do have to split up in order to find this. We're looking for a bright red beam into the sky. Where is it? 15 out of 16. Looking for that final one. Hopefully it'll zone into view very shortly. There it is, right in the far corner. All right, let's grab this. And of course, that will trigger hopefully our next Control boss. Central defense sequence complete. Defensive measures are now online. Kryptonite in transport. Directive: Protect Kryptonite. Eliminate intruders. There we go. All right, let's form up folks and get ourselves ready. Just quickly take this guy back. Connection to bringing out There we go. All right, so you can see our next task is to defeat Subprime Regulator Zeta. And of course, this is the penultimate boss. This will be the last one before we have to head over and start transporting the Kryptonite. So that's going to be a lot of fun. All right, I think we're about as ready as we're going to be. Up we go. And there she is, Laugh Lass. Let's join up with her. She's looking like a zombie now. And we're in. We are doing this. Let's take on the trash so we can leave the main boss to the other guys in the team. And you see they're big knockbacks. Big knockbacks indeed. And he's down. Now is the crucial battle. Just beyond here, Rainiac's Prime Servitor and its greater accumulators oversee the transfer of the Kryptonite onto their ship. You may not want to face this battle alone. Once the accumulators are down and the Kryptonite is safe, Calculator will hack the ship's teleporter so you can take down the Prime Servitor. There we go. You heard the lady. First things first. Let's distribute this loot here. We'll pass on that, of course, because that's not for us. It's A, a healer, and B, a way to a low level for us. All right, let's check our map. Boy, we're doing so well there. Look at this. Here it is, the final zone. Over to the east there, and you know what this is all about. If we look at our tracker here, you can see we have to firstly secure and recover green kryptonite. We've got four of those that we have to take back to the drop point and as always that'll trigger that arrow above our head if you ever get lost and you don't know where to drop them off just follow the arrow above your head and we also have to defeat the greater accumulators which of course are protecting these green kryptonite chunks and we have to take down 25 of those so if you ask me we're as ready as we're ever going to be let's throw ourselves a cheer and get into this folks we're heading off to finally battle the final boss of course once we've done all of these tasks we will have to take down sub regulator prime who is the main boss of this instance and again gawking around doesn't it just look fantastic in this area i love the instances in dcuo they are so amazing all right so let's wait for the rest of our team there she is laugh less 
Here comes Flying Fox flying in. I love the costume, by the way, Flying Fox. That is awesome. All right, let's do this. We're about as ready as we're going to be. There is Velocis. And by the way, folks, that there is the green kryptonite chunk that has to be taken back. You can see Laughlass there will grab that. We'll just defend her. There we are, grabbing that, and she should be able to take that all the way back over to the drop point, which is in that hangar over there, by the way. All right, so, oh, there we go. There's Velocis taking over another one as well. Great teamwork there. Flying Fox taking on the greater accumulators all on their own. There we go, get over here. Using our little ability there, our zip line to pull those bosses in, or rather pull those mobs in. 12 out of 25 of these guys. All right, let's head into the fray now. See where the rest of the guys and gals are. Give ourselves a little bit of a helping hand in the terms of a shield. And let's spray those guys as well, why the heck not? And there we are, Velocis. Activating another blob of green kryptonite there and taking that back, obviously, to the drop-off point. All right, here we go, the lucky last group. You see, by the way, the count there, kryptonite is two out of four. Three out of four now. Once again, if you're doing this at level, be very careful. These guys are certainly not a cakewalk by any stretch of the imagination. And there we are, Velocis is taking off with the last one of those chunks. And you know what that means, that will trigger the teleport opening. And that allows us to teleport up into the Brainiac ship. Here we go for the Prime Servitor. There we go, that is it up there, the teleport. That's where we'll be headed very, very shortly. That will take us up the top here inside the Brainiac dropship. And there he is, Prime Servitor, that is our mark. This is the final boss of Area 51. This is what we need to do. That's gonna oh, be a real tough task if you are running it at level, by the way. There we go, let's wait for our fellow teammates. Flying Fox and Laugh Lass are already here. We'll wait for Velocis to come in. There he is, wait for me, he says. All right, and we are underway. Let's do this, Prime Servitor. Now, by the way, folks, as you probably, well, I hope you know, he will start a trigger, which basically means that the ship itself will start firing out missiles. Now, there's a little trick. Here we go, he sends a distress call. There's a little trick to avoiding them, and that is to stand under one of these archways here, by the way. Now, if you can do that, you will actually be immune from all of the missiles that start firing out. So do make sure you, yeah, it's basically standing under one of these arches here. But we'll wait for the missiles to, there we go, it's return to normal. We'll wait for the missile barrage to appear before we worry about doing that. And by the way, can you see we're going to town on him, but we are still not making a difference. Look at his health there, he's not even a third of the way through. And this is with a bunch of level 30s. There we go, the ship's defences are active. Just stand yourselves under an archway like this. And everything should be fine. You can see Velocis taking a bit of a pummeling there. And Laughless has done the same thing. And Velocis is content to take the beating. That's okay, you can take it on, on behalf of the rest of us. And there we go, returning to normal. Deploy missile barrage. 
So you can see we got him down to about half health. Again, even though we are at high level, this is not easy. Not easy at all. He has got a boatload. Boatload of hit points there, as you can tell. Oh, and we are stunned. You can see the whole team there is stunned indeed. And again! Launch missile sequence. So again, it really doesn't matter if you're level level 9, level 11, or level 30. Missile lock. He has the ability to lock you down. Deploy missile barrage. And can we do it, folks? He is down! Prime Servitor is down! The super villains are victorious. Brainiac has been defeated, and Lex and Cadmus have their precious kryptonite. I will remember your name. We will speak again. There we are. Let's give ourselves a salute. We have done well. Done well indeed. First things first, of course, let's have a look at this loot. Cybernetic interface leg guards. And we'll hope that, hopefully, Flying Fox gets those. There we go. She definitely did receive them. Congratulations to her. Look at this, folks. We are done. A majorly successful Area 51 run there. No deaths. We managed to protect Flying Fox very well. And, of course, that is mainly due to the fact that these guys know how to play as a team, as I fully expect from the Super Villains or the Super Zeros. Certainly hope you guys enjoyed that run through Area 51 from a slightly different perspective on the Villains this time, with our great team members Flying Fox there performing the role of damage. We've got Laugh Lass, who kept us entertained throughout the whole run with her crazy shenanigans and shape-shifting there as a controller. And, of course, rounding out the team here is Velocis, our flag inspired super villain playing a controller of course our wonderful little villain ourselves Seraphis who played as DPS well guys there you go that is a fantastically fun episode I don't care if we run that week in week out it's different every time depending on who's playing depending on who's in the team as of course we never know who exactly is going to be in the team week to week it's all random and that dictates the run that we're doing so there we go folks I think it's time for us to wrap this up on behalf of my Myself, Sambo, Seraphis, Flying Fox, Laugh Lass, and Velocis. Certainly hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Certainly hope you'll join us in the next weekly League Alert episode. And of course, most importantly, hope you're having an awesome day wherever in the world you are. We do look forward to seeing you next time. We will see you then, and bye-bye.